tea and uh, silage. Right. Uh, <coughs> my name is Elston. I know that's a tough name. I have an easier surname. It's Pimenta. Right. And if you find both the names very difficult to remember, it's not neither your fault nor my fault. It's my parents' fault. <laughs> okay. But I have to live with it. And if you keep interacting with me, you'll have to live with that too. Right. Okay. So uh, when Vikram told me to uh, come over and uh, speak to uh, you all, I just said, okay, I'll do it. Believe me, on Sunday and Sundays, uh, alternately, I actually go as visiting faculty in some of the uh, leading MBA colleges in Pune. But when Vikram says, please come to YCT, I just can't say no. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I have never done a CDAC course. And I envy each one of you. Really, I envy each one of you. You know why? Because <clears throat> my own company, okay, Cybate Software, which is based in Pune, started off, as Vikram rightly pointed out, with just four freshers. From where? From CDAC. And I want to go out and tell everybody that if Saivich can be a success story because of four freshers from CDAC, today whatever we are, we owe it to CDAC. And I've traveled all the way for Pune, not only for Vikram, but more so for CDAC. I'm, I'm making a true confession. I'm not promoting CDAC to, you know, just to flatter it. Okay, Saivich, go to the site, find out what Saivich does. There is a particular name on the board, Mayur Uplekar. Okay, if you see he is in Microsoft, ask him where did he start his career. I was the one who hired him, correct Vikram? Yeah. I hired him to Saivich. He worked with us for two years, went on to the US. I signed his uh, letter when he submitted it to you, the university. He got his MS, uh, got into a company to campus recruitment today. That's a success story. Okay, there are n number of people that we can uh, pinpoint, and uh, <coughs> why I said I envy you is because you are in an industry, okay, where it's ever growing. There were times when we had recession, but for IT we never in India no recession. Believe me, never recession. There was a fear, of right? Yes, of course, with the change of government from the earlier government to the uh, present one, and uh, no software projects coming to India and, you know, uh, Buffalo better than Bangalore, okay. Uh, the man came to this city and said, it has to be Bangalore. I just realized how much we are missing, right. So, <clears throat> having said so, you are in the right area. You are in the right uh, uh, domain of uh, professionalism. But the, the, what is important is, you need to pay attention to a lot of things that uh, is required by the industry. Okay? Uh, as students, oh, it doesn't matter. We'll take it easy. I'll tell you the story of this Mayur. You know, he worked with us for two years. Every Saturday, Sunday, he would be sitting on the terrace, opening some book reading. And I should say, what are you doing? Studying. That's how much you're studying. You already did your CDAC. You already placed. No, there's a lot more. And that urge for learning must continue. Till today, if I can do another course, by the way, can you guess how many years of the professional experience I had? Any guesses? You are very serious. 30! Would have a great grandfather. 20-25. Grandfather. Do I look so old? 14? Any, any other guesses? Come on, don't make me so old. About 10 years, little lesser. Just please say a single digit, make me happy. <laughs> oh, who said that? Who said seven? Yeah, thank you so much. Okay, I am in my 26th year of professional experience. Okay, uh, and thanks to my wife who is a beautician, all the experiments are on my face <laughs> before she goes out. Okay, uh, anyway, jokes, jokes apart. But uh, in my 25 years of uh, hardcore professionalism, I've realized people are doing fantastic, especially, I also have been a, in the IT profession, I've also been a programmer, went outside, came back. Of course, I shifted my line because I love interacting with people. Okay, I really love interacting with people, and therefore probably I'm now heading the HR department. Okay? Uh, 
what else should I be talking? Would you like to ask me questions? Because I don't have a presentation. Vikram asked me, do you have a presentation? Uh, should we arrange a project? I said, no, no, no. I'm just going to talk from my heart. Believe me, nothing is planned. I just said, these are the few things that I should be saying. And I said, I will talk about it. Do you want to ask me any questions? Anything? Besides asking me how many girlfriends I had before marriage. <laughs> okay. Come on, go ahead. Don't hesitate. How is the scope of uh, Biomark uh, WIMC? Yeah. It's that. Okay. In the, in the industry. In the industry? See, uh, as I told you, the industry is growing, okay, in every sphere. Uh, sphere. Because uh, there was a time people would attach themselves to certain technology. Technology is only a way of, uh, you know, of, of uh, the professional environment that you are. Just don't worry. Be good in whatever you do. I'll tell you, when I joined this company, Saivet Software, eight years back, there, there was only one person in my department. You know who that person was? Me, myself. Today, I have 52 people in my department and we are still growing. Why? You can, I mean, sky is the limit. But how much effort you want to put in? I'm, I was telling you about Mayur. See where he is today. Okay? Could be even think that you would reach Microsoft. Maybe I not, I not thought about it. Maybe when I had but, yeah. Yeah, any other question? Like that? I, uh, my philosophy of life, I may sound philosophical, but it's a fact. I believe in one thing, and this is uh, what I read on the 14th of September 1982. I remember this date because when I opened the book, you know, I don't even know the name of the book, believe me. But when I opened the book, you know, there was a saying inside, you know, the first page dedicated to my wife and brother and sister and neighbor's wife and whoever, whoever, okay. So, so you know, that, that first page where nothing else is written, only that, you know what it says? If I am not for myself, who will be? I repeat that. If I am not for myself, who will be? And if I am only for myself, what am I? And this is not my saying. This is the saying of Goldemir. The late Prime Minister of Israel. If I am not for myself, who will be? And if I am only for myself, what am I? So that's why I am saying, sky is the limit. If you like something, have a passion for it. You know, do it with lot of love. Beyond love. I, uh, passion is, you know, I don't know how to explain it. But it, it's something beyond, you know, that this is what I am meant for, sort of thing. And if you can believe in that, things will find its way. Uh, I won't hesitate to say, you know, sometimes people feel, oh, the course costs so much, when will I get the money back? We start thinking of the returns before we actually pass through the path. Where there is a will, there is a way. This is what I have believed. When I started my career, believe me, you know what was my salary? 150 rupees. It's not changed very drastically, but yeah, a few more zeros have been added, right? But it doesn't happen just like that. It just doesn't happen. Life is full of struggles. During the recession time, a lot of people dropped from going into study. Why? We have to start working. And I think this is where a lot of people lost the opportunity. And those who were in, the, in learning mode during recession, I can tell you, 95% of them have done it big for themselves in a matter of just two years. Because there was no competition. Today, we are 3,800, a little more than that, and we are going to touch 5,000 by the end of the year. We are going to the industry, and one of the, you know, hindsight of why I'm over here is, I will come back to hire people from this institute. I don't know where else to go besides institutes like CDAC because this is a proven model for us. Yes, we do take engineering students, but mind you, I am not criticizing anybody. <coughs> but engineering students take a lot more time to come up to speed rather than people from CDAC. For CDAC, we have a one month to 45 days uh, refresher sort of course and they are put into billable positions. Engineering, we have six months course 
and still mentors need are needed. You see the difference? Such a big difference. So those of you who are, you know, and I hope each one of you that sitting in this room besides Vikram and the lady and those of the blue tags, uh, <coughs> if you have made up your mind about doing something in life, probably have six months to think about it. Believe me, there is the light at the end of that tunnel. When you're going through it, it's tough. And the more you are tough with yourself, the better it will be at the end of the time. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Okay. Uh, Vikram, I, I don't know whether I should be saying, but we were talking about uh, why don't we sponsor students. I will come back to Vikram with this, whether we can sponsor students. Okay. But to get a sponsorship, you have to be the best. It's very lonely up there. Not very many people reach the top, right? Very lonely. But are we ready to be, give it that try to reach the top? Think about what I'm saying. Because I believe CDAC is reliable. CDAC course is a proven fact for Cybage. As I told you, we started the organization with four freshers. The story of Cybage, I don't want to promote Cybage, but I'll just give you a, uh, how much we are you know, indebted to uh, CDAC is because these four freshers develop, you know, uh, I'm sure you have MSN, MSN accounts, right, chat facility, you know what all you do over there, chat with the whole world around you, correct? So we are talking about 1996. A year before that, there was something called as Cyber, you, you can check this out, Cyber Ra uh, Raider, okay, there was our product. We had something similar to this, a little better probably than what MSN is today. And we used to charge one dollar to get a membership. The very next year, MSN came into existence. And when MSN came into existence, who wants to pay one dollar when you're getting free? So what do we do? We have two options. Struggle and continue. Close shop, start something new. We started off as a product company. And when we had competition in the very next year, what we said, we took our product to the industry and we told the industry this is what we can do. And today what we are is because we took up that struggle and continued. And what we are today is because of again those four people. They have developed that. So we are very proud about it, about what we have done. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> probably that was the best thing that has happened to Cybage this history because we were a product company, started off as a product company and we thought we'll make it big, but one year and we almost crashed. We continued and we went on. And uh, the rest is history. Okay. Anything else? I, 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 I know there's something else happening. Uh, I was saying there is some other, some test or something going on. So I'll just take a few questions if uh, you have that I can answer. Why are you not asking me questions? <laughs> Afraid to ask? Come on. Uh, Vikram knows this, you know. Every time I come to YCP, when I'm leaving, it starts pouring. I only hope it doesn't happen today. Every year, sunny when I came, but when I was leaving, I couldn't even reach back to Pune. You know, sometimes. So heavy it is to rain. Let's see whether it rains today. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, we just felt when we, you know, students are waiting for a placement. Uh, what better can we offer them? You know, we, it was very easy to turn around and go back. It's very easy for us. But that's not, uh, you know, we always keep the employee or the prospective employee in mind. You know, what would he feel? He would never realize the situation that we are. And we met the very bad accident, very bad. Nothing wrong with anybody. But uh, it was pouring and the scar came. It hit us, uh, went off the road and went on to the other side of the road, highway, you know, and was driving, he could not even stop, so high the speed was. He continued for quite some time and then stopped. You know, he went on the other side and lucky there was nothing coming in the opposite direction. He traveled